my name is Baxter Constance, and I'm part of the class of 2024 here at IWU. Uh, a few things you want to, to get done before you get going on this application is getting your high school counselor's information and phone number and email, that kind of stuff. And then find a recommender. You're going to need a letter of recommendation for this and need their information as well. And a short statement about why you are applying to IWU. There is a 200 and to 500 word, 650 word max personal essay at the end. We give you the prompts for that though. Feel free to pause, click on the review section, and then hit save for later. And keep in mind that this application is completely free, so there is no reason not to fill this one out. To get to the application page, type in iwu.edu forward slash apply. After that, you're going to want to click the apply now button, which will bring you to this page where you can either log in or create an account. If you haven't created an account, it will bring you to this page. You fill out your email address, first name, last name, birth date. A temporary pin will be sent to your email, which you will then use to create a password for your account. From there, you can get started with your application. And then your application should bring you to this page. Regular decision and transfer will not be there. That's just because I'm on the dummy account here at Illinois Wesleyan. What you're going to want to click is start new application. And if you're a transfer student, hit transfer. But if you're a regular decision, hit regular decision. In addition to the transfer app and uh, regular decision, is the early action option. Students who would uh, like to know their admission decision by December 15th can apply to the early action round. This will only appear as an option from August 1st to November 15th. So once you get here to the first page, you're going to want to enter all your info once again. You're just going to want to put your address. I just put Illinois Wesleyans because that was easier for me. Um, yeah, and then the mailing your mailing address, I just did Wesleyans again. Uh, if it's the same as yours, you can easily just copy and paste. Uh, but if it is different, please give us the correct information. Uh, you're going to want to put in your telephone number, whichever one you will answer more. Uh, I know gender isn't always as simple as male or female, so please uh, describe to us how we should refer to you, including your pronouns below. We want to be as inclusive of a community as possible and do not wish to offend anyone. So please tell us everything we need to know. Uh, and then once again, your birth date. Uh, after that, your citizenship. So I'm just a US citizen, so that's just what I put in. Uh, if you have dual citizenship, that's great, put that in. If you're not a United States citizen, that is fine as well. Put whatever you need to in. Uh, after that, you're going to want to put your proficiency, oh, excuse me, I skipped, uh, social security number. For the social security number, I am entering a random number, but please enter your actual social security number or leave this section blank. If you are worried about this, please check our privacy and protection policy, but we take this very seriously and don't release anyone's information. Uh, after that, for your languages, please list the language uh, you're most proficient in. I only know English, and that was my first language. But if you want to add another one, feel free. It just is the same kind of stuff. Uh, for race and ethnicity, just answer these to the best of your ability. Uh, no, I'm not a Hispanic, and I am white. Uh, these are optional, so if you don't have one or don't feel comfortable putting your religious affiliation, that's fine, leave it blank. And if, also optional, if your parents have a bachelor's degree or greater, also optional. Uh, and then IWU connections, this can be anyone. So if you have a family member that works here, a family friend that works here, like my father and uncle attended here, so I'd enter their information here, so it would be whatever I put above. Uh, and for dates attended, just give the best estimation you can. So academic section. This is where you're going to be entering your high school ent information. Your school will probably pop up, so like I'm adding an institution. Uh, this could also include colleges you've attended. And then in this section you will uh, enter high school or college courses you are currently taking. This is so Wesleyan's counselors know about the classes that might not appear on your tr transcript yet. You can edit these at any time and then where I was, semester, 
and what the course name was. Uh, then a little bit about the block schedule. Yes, uh, are you part of an international program? No. Uh, first name. Uh, oh, secondary school counselor. So this would be your high school counselor. Uh, let's just say my counselor's name was Adam Driver, and then I put their email address and then their phone number. Uh, any other information? Uh, if uh, I earned a national achievement, national Hispanic, national merit semifinalist, uh, or if you are working with a community based organization to assist you in your college search. Uh, so you can just click any of these. Other gives you an option to type in. Uh, but let's just say I was Chicago Scholars. Uh, for more academic information, uh, this is more about uh, when you attend Illinois Wesleyan. So I plan to begin, let's say, 2021 fall, uh, if that's what it is, but it gives you options for spring as well. Uh, and if you're a full-time or part-time student, uh, will you be submitting official test scores? This is a completely optional thing here at Illinois Wesleyan, so if you for whatever reason don't feel comfortable sharing your score uh, don't worry about it you can just hit no uh, so I can show you that section I'm hitting yes uh, for your possible career let's just say I want to be a computer programmer definitely word this better than what I did right here because uh, that is not the best wording ever ever and uh, have I visited campus? No, I have not. There are options online. Just look up easily either on the website or just Google Illinois Wesleyan uh, campus tours or visits. Uh, for your first choice of major, since I said computer programmer, it would make sense if I put computer science. And then second choice of major, I just put accounting. Uh, and if any of your major choices are in music, please add the appropriate instruments below. Uh, just any instrument you play, and if you have any pre-professional concentrations that you want to focus on, so like pre-law, pre-med, any of these, just check them. You can check as many as you want. And then another optional section here, are you interested in pursuing any of the following programs that are offered as minors only? So that'd be these sections. So whatever you want, right there. Uh, then FAFSA, if you are uh, applying for federal financial aid, this is where you'd say, yes, I am looking for that. And uh, keep in mind that the deadline for this, for FAFSA, is March 1st. Uh, so, uh, have you ever been disciplined in anything? This is kind of a violation of any kind at the institution you have attended. Uh, related to your academic misconduct or behavioral misconduct, uh, anything you may have been punished for, so let's just say no, and then any actual legal kind of repercussions you've had here. Uh, I'm just going to put no there, but if I put yes, it asks me to explain. Uh, and the same for high school as well. Uh, next section is standardized tests. Again, this is not required by any means, but if you want to include your test scores, this would also include advanced placement, AP, or international IB programs. So keep your test score, so let's just say add test. If you do choose to add a test score, we do not need to know all of the subscores. If you wish to enter those, that's great, but a composite score is all that is necessary. For the SAT, just uh, the ERW or math total. Test scores are not required, but if you don't submit any, you will have to schedule an interview with admissions. So, in that scenario, be on the lookout for a request to schedule that interview. Contact admissions if you need more info on how that will work. For activities, you can add anything. Th this is one of the best options. This is where we get to learn a little bit more about your personality, what you like to do in your free time. Uh, so, like me, I was a lifeguard and part of swim team in my hometown. 
then what I want to do here, this is kind of more what I want to do at IWU. This is a super long list. We've got a bunch of activities. Please read everything because we want to know what you as a person are interested in. To the next section. Uh, this is your recommender's information. So for add recommender, you will click add recommender. I already have one made up, so let's just say I'm using my school counselor once again. So you can waive your right to access this report, but you don't necessarily have to. A personal statement. I just typed something so it would fill in the space, but it should be just a little bit telling us why you are interested in IWU. After that is the personal essay. This is the big one. So this can be up to 650 words, but the recommended one is 200 to 500 words. Uh, so I'm, you've got seven prompts here. I'll read a couple of them. Personally, I think number five is the best one you can do, or four. Those will tell a little bit about you and how you work as a person and student. Uh, but also, you can share an essay of any topic as seven states. Uh, it can be uh, one you've already written and one that responds to a different prompt or one of your own design. It would be fantastic, so let's just hit replace. I just typed in something here just so you can see what that box is. You can also upload these if you really want to, if you want to type it in a Word doc. Uh, please don't put like a Google Doc link in there because several people will probably look at it. Uh, if you are going to copy and paste, copy the actual essay or upload a PDF or a Word Doc. Uh, then application certification, just put your name and I will hit continue once again. In the review section, items appearing in red are missing items that are acquired. Those that appear orange are just suggestions, but not required for submission. Click here to preview application and proof just to make sure that everything is worded correctly and all the information is correct. And you can either hit save for later or submit an application. Uh, if you do have any more questions, uh, please contact someone at uh, admissions here at IWU. They are more than willing to help you fill out this application. If anything was confusing that I said or just unclear in general, feel free to ask. And I hope this helped a little bit. And I hope to see you here at IWU next year.